Snake River Brewing Company is located in one of the coolest cities in the West. Jackson Hole, Wyoming, with its laid-back ski bum way of life, just might be located in the most scenic place I have ever seen. For a beer trip, it just doesn't get any better than a trek through Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks to get to your destination brewery. And finding your way through the eclectic little mountain berg is easy. When you've arrived at the remodeled old cinder block building at 265 South Millward, you'll find a delightful menu and a posse of award-winning brews. Unfortunately, I showed up on the 4th of July. The only brewer in the house was off the clock and didn't want to chat me up about his beers, which was the only downside of the trip. But I can hardly blame him. I mean, who would want to talk to some beer blogger about what makes your beer so good on such a nice day, right? Fright. And so I was left to do a self-guided tour of the brewery, which actually has a self-guided tour that winds around its brew pub and upstairs to the bright tanks and kegging facility. Genius! I couldn't find points one and two, so I started at point three. Snake River Brewing Company opened in 1994. The 15-barrel steam-fired brew system puts out about 5,000 gallons of beer a year. And unlike many other mountain breweries, these guys enter all the big contests, and they've got some serious hardware to show for it. On our visit, we tried the Snake River Pale Ale and the Guido's Kohlnerbrau, a Kolsch-style ale that was perfect in the heat of the day. The Pale Ale, which won a bronze medal at the 2007 Great American Beer Festival, offered some more depth and flavor, and was an exceptional match with the goat's cheese, chorizo, mozzarella, and peach pizza we ate. And we took a growler of OB-1, Wyoming's first certified organic beer, back to our camping spot in Yellowstone so that our entire clan could get a taste of the fresh stuff from Jackson Hole. All in all, this was a great brewery experience. Good food, great beer, and a lively atmosphere. I'll plan my next trip down so that it doesn't coincide with a major holiday, so maybe I can meet one of their amazing brewers. GrizzlyGrowler.com, this is Tim Akamoff.